a destiny to meet, a potential to fulfill, an ascent few can rival. Fred Malik's remarkable rise to leadership from his parents' house to the White House has embodied the very spirit of democracy. Who knew that one day, the young boy from Berwyn, Illinois, born Czech American, would catch the eye of political leaders, the ear of presidents, and the foothold into the shaping of world events. Of course, his parents knew. Both Martha and Fred Sr. saw the burning drive in Fred from the very beginning. With his solid upbringing, they knew Fred would be up for any challenge. The whole family was behind him, but no one was more elated than Uncle Zach upon hearing of Fred's acceptance to West Point. So strong an influence, West Point would inspire Fred to later name his company Thayer, after the father of the Revered Academy. With graduation from West Point, Fred found new reservoirs of bravery, serving in Vietnam. From student to soldier to student again, Harvard Business School welcomed the already accomplished Malik. Little did they know the force they would unleash on the business world. How can he be involved in so many different ventures and other kinds of activities and always make it look like it's so easy? You know, he's always calling in uh, at the board meetings from bicycling trips in France or from one or the other of his vacation homes, and he's still involved in managing all these activities that I've concluded that he is the Tom Sawyer of the business world. The Tom Sawyer of the business world. He not only gets everybody else to paint the fence, but he makes them think they've got a really good deal. <laughs> Malik formed his first company, Triangle, partnering with two longtime friends. Before long, duty would once again call, but this time, the White House was on the line. The boy from Berwyn makes good as President Nixon's Deputy Undersecretary of the Department of Health, Education, and Welfare. I, Frederick B. Malik, do solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies. More impressive than that, at the age of 35, Malik becomes the Deputy Director of the White House Office of Management and Budget. Mr. Malik would later serve President Reagan on the Executive Committee of the Council on Cost Control and later on the President's Commission on Private Sector Initiatives and on the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. Fred directed the 1988 Republican Convention, acted as the ambassador to the Economic Summit of Industrialized Nations and campaign manager for Bush in 92. I've known Fred for over 30 years, and throughout that 30-year period, he has done everything he could to improve his community, to give back, to show that he is the kind of citizen we want in every community. Spanning two decades, Malik advised four presidents during a critical period, as the United States assumed its role as a leader of the free nations against communism. Still, the private sector remained unconquered. And let me say to the audience that, um, Fred Malik is my friend. He is uh, one of the few Republicans that I really like and spend time with. <laughs> but quite beyond that, he is a citizen, a patriot, a philanthropist, and an excellent businessman who understands investing and getting returns on those investments. Malik partnered with George W. Bush and Craig Stapleton to buy the Texas Rangers. With baseball in his heart, Malik has been active in trying to bring the sport to the nation's capital. Of course, he didn't do it all alone. Married for 41 years to the woman he credits as having made his life easy, Marlene Malik has been the inspiration behind Fred's stellar career in public and private circles. We all know she's been secretly running things all along. We've had quite a life together. We've, we've traveled a lot. We have uh, wonderful uh, things in common. Um, we share everything. Um, and uh, we're just, a, I think, a wonderful family. 
A strong family man with two children and a grandchild he cherishes, Fred Malik leads the well-rounded life that fuels his success. From an ordinary background, an extraordinary man arose to become president of Marriott Hotels, president of Republic Airlines, and a highly successful CEO of a leading investment company. But that's only part of the story of how Fred has become active in the support of philanthropy in his community and the world. One of his favorite charities, the Boy Scouts of America, recently honored Fred as their Citizen of the Year. Former President George Bush, although unable to attend, shared his well wishes to Fred and all in attendance at the event. Well, you've been a personal friend for many years, and I cannot think of anyone more deserving of this honor. Through your tremendous accomplishments as a young man at the Point, at West Point, and in Vietnam, to your distinguished career in the public and private sector, you've truly exemplified what the Boy Scouts of America teaches our young people to strive to do your best, to stay true to your principles, and to be prepared for the challenges life has for you. American Friends of the Czech Republic proudly honors Fred Malik with the Civil Society Vision Award for his leadership, contributions to community, and proud representation of his Czech American heritage. Several years, but our involvement has showed you how to spread living on the environmental edge. Join me.